Hey there, YouTube. It's been a while since we've had a one-to-one -one talk. Wait, now that I think about it, we've probably never had a one-to-one -one talk on this channel. But anyways, I'm just here to give my short review on Black Myth Wukong. I know uh, my review doesn't mean shit. <laughs> I'm nobody to give a review, but still, since I've completed the game, at least I've done a first playthrough of the game. I just want to let the little people that follow me know about what I think about the game. I mean, it's been a month now that the game has been out. So, yeah, I think it's about time. It's about time. And especially since I'm going to start my second playthrough on Twitch. So if you guys haven't followed me yet, make sure you check the link down below. I'm going to leave a link to my Twitch. So you just have to click it and just follow. I... I'll be streaming uh, my second playthrough every night around 10 and uh, 10 p.m. UK time. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Just make sure you follow. You'll get the notification anyways. But but with that said, um, yeah, let's jump straight into the review, shall we? So since the first trailer came out of Black Myth Wukong, I've always had a, a hyper expectation about the game. I've always, always been super excited about the game i mean it took six years or something like that for the game to be done since the first trailer and i've been excitedly waiting for that game to come out and my expectations were really really high and i'm not i'm not gonna lie it didn't disappoint it didn't disappoint nonetheless and i'm really happy i'm really happy the game turned out the way it is because you guys know sometimes yeah, that games comes out and you super hyped for it after you play it and it's, it's something completely different and with this game it was completely the opposite my expectation was really high and the game really matched my expectation and i think it literally beat a little bit more but i think that's more thanks to the ps5 and all that stuff that i mean i don't know, I don't know. the game is just absolutely amazing i would recommend it 100 percent one of the things that I will critique the game, obviously, is not all good. It's not everything is just fucking amazing. One of the things that I'll critique the game, but it has to come with the gameplay. When it comes to graphic wise, like the sceneries, everything, it's just breathtaking. That I'll give it a 10 out of 10, 100 percent A 10 out of 10. But when it comes to like the playability, it is uh the fighting is it's super fluid. Like I love it, I love it. But the only thing I'll say is the map. That's the only thing that will take a 5% of a mark, my marking. Well, 5%, not even 5%, but you'll take a little bit of my marking um, to give it a perfect game. Is the map? There is there's literally no map. And I get it. Is Wukong is meant to explore and all that stuff, like go around. Like you should just do what you want, basically, kind of like freedom, like you're free or searching for freedom kind of stuff. And it absolutely delivers on that. But it's just at some some points and some stages, I just feel like I just spent more 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 of the time just walking around, basically just going in circles because I don't know where I'm going, especially when you get to I think it's um, chapter three, which chapter three is actually the biggest map. And, and that shit is annoying. <laughs> it's annoying. It's like, where does this end? Like, where am I even going? Oh, the, um, where the spiders? Where the spiders are? The spider ladies? Oh, my days. That, that, that was... I think that was the worst place. Like, the underground section. That was the worst place. It's like, I had no clue. Every single place felt the same. I was just... It was like the upper underground, then you had the lower underground, the middle underground, and whatnot. Everything just felt the same. I was completely lost. Lost. I didn't know what to do. If it wasn't thanks to chat, I, I, I would have lost it. I would have lost it. I would have probably just gave up. Because she was so annoying. And another thing is like, um, some of the bosses as well. It makes no sense. I struggle. I struggle with some bosses that I... I and, I, and Elden Ring is hard. Obviously, that's one of the things that I've heard a lot of people compare it to, to Elden Ring and, and how difficult it is. I don't think it's as difficult as Elden Ring. I just wanted to drop that there before I, I forgot about it. But I don't think it's as hard as Elden Ring because I gave up on Elden Ring. I literally spent 40 something hours Let's 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 even check it. Hold on. 
this chicken. Forty-five hours, and I've done sixteen percent. Sixteen percent, and I spent forty-five hours in the game. Yeah, that's what I give up, cause. Oh my days, it made no damn sense. Elden Ring made no damn sense, bro. And they want to compare it. I feel like I feel like some uh Wukong, Black Myth Wukong is way more easier. Yeah, way more easier than Elden Ring. I actually it, I'm not saying that Wukong is easy. No, it's not. Like it's got some bosses. It's not every single boss that is hard, but it's got some bosses that yeah, you got to spend some time, especially in your first playthrough. You got to spend some time, uh, especially learning the pattern of their of their moves and whatnot. But but yeah, the timing and all that stuff. But yeah, Wukong. I actually prefer Wukong better. Like the difficulty on Wukong, I actually prefer it. Um, it was difficult. It was challenging. But I didn't. It wasn't as hard for me to just like give up on the goddamn game. To be honest, and there being no map, it's gonna definitely take off a little bit of the points on my final punctuation so yeah no map really bad especially on a big ass map like like chapter three that 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 is unacceptable that is unacceptable i don't mind chapter six on chapter six i don't mind there being no map especially when you could fly that was fucking amazing but but yeah there being no map is definitely going to take off points for my punctuation boss fights let's get on to boss fights now um i've absolutely loved every single boss fights out there and uh, that i did on black myth wukong they were absolutely amazing um most of them were super challenging that was just disgusting to be honest but if there's one boss fight that i absolutely hate i i love i love the, the the fighting like all that but just how difficult it is and how and knowing it is to fight him, he'll be the Scorpion King. That dude is annoying. Annoying. Jesus Christ. And I hate it. I hate it. That's the only boss fight I would say I hate. The, the, the Scorpion King fight. I absolutely hate that boss fight. It's annoying. And if you guys have been watching my playthrough, my first playthrough, and, and you've seen it, I rage so much. It took me about eight hours to beat him or something like that I, he was so annoying um and if there's one boss fight that i love over every single boss fight it will be yellow long i i just cannot i just cannot help it yellow long is the most i would say the best fight i don't know how to say it like just of how he was dodging some of some of my attacks and his combos and just the whole fight on its own it was just it was just amazing like don't get me wrong it's not like i didn't struggle on that fight or anything i did struggle like it was one of my hardest boss fights but for some reason i didn't hate it i just actually loved it so yeah i, I think yellow long is actually my best boss fight so let me know which one is yours and if we go to the most difficult boss fight obviously we'll have to give it to Erlang. Erlang takes the throne on the most difficult boss fight. That's why he's actually above um, the Broken Sage. Like, Erlang is just crazy hard. That dude took me at two two days on stream to get it to get it done with. Obviously, not two 24 hours, but two days of full stream, full eight hour streams for, for me to, to deal with Erlang. And he was annoying, difficult, and his moveset was just, what are you doing? Like, what the heck is going on right now? So, when it comes to boss fight, for the most difficult one, it would have to be Erlang. The, my most loved boss fight, will Yellow Long takes it. And my most annoying boss fight, the one that I hated the most, is Scorpion King. So, when it comes to boss fights, my favorite was yellow long my, the most difficult was erlang and my most hated one 
was Scorpion King. Let me know which one was yours down below. Your most difficult, your most hated one, and the one that you love the most. The one that you just, even if you you spend like five minutes or even if you spend three, five, ten hours there, let me know which one is your most loved uh, boss fight as well. We've talked about the map situation. We've talked about the boss fights. And we talk about the boss, we talk about the graphics, which is already 10 out of 10. Like there's no, there's no give, going away out of that. It's like every single thing is just, you turn around, it's like, wow, look at that. You turn around, it's like, wow, look at that. We've talked about that as well. And now let's talk about, let's talk about something else that didn't sit well with me, to be honest. Um, at the end, when you get to become Sun Wukong or become like inherit all the all his memories or whatnot, um, you don't get his move set. Like you only use his move set during the fight with the broken sage. You don't get to use his move set afterwards, especially if you finish the game. You finish the game first before you fight after before you fight Erlang. Because I, that's what I did. I tried fighting Erlang before finishing the game, but I, I just couldn't. So I finished the game first, then came back and fought Erlang, and that's how I beat him. Um, but yeah, like it was just it was just a little bit annoying that I couldn't use um, the broken say I couldn't use um, Wu Kong's move set. And yeah, by the way, forgive me, I'm a little bit sick as well. Um, I don't know why it's too cold here in England, like really, really cold lately. And I've got my voice is just all over the place. <laughs> and I've got a little bit of cold as well. And I'm, I've been trying to keep myself warm the whole time, but I still catch cold, still catch cold. But anyways, with all that said and all that all out of the way, um, I just wanted to just say that little bit like there's i'm sure there's a lot of big youtubers out there that have said way more and you guys have probably already seen it but i just wanted to give my little thoughts about it which doesn't even mean anything and and yeah when my final score would be a 9.5 i was even debating if it would be a 9 or a 9.5 because of the map and and some of the issues when it come up when it was like crashing out i didn't it didn't crash on me too much like the game didn't crash on me too much but, but there were some points that it just felt like i need to i had to restart the game or close the game and open it again because it just it would just be doing some bullshit. like my character would not be moving properly like i'll try to dodge it wouldn't dodge i'll try to drink it wouldn't drink it was just weird and that's another thing as well the drinking like when you're trying to drink your and i've seen a lot of other youtubers go through that when i'm trying to well not just you but well, when i say youtubers i mean people that have posted their videos so um like drinking when you press the button to drink your potion to heal yourself sometimes it doesn't kick in you, like you're pressing it and it doesn't kick it and in the middle of the fight that that could be like that could be it literally that could be it because you you press thinking that you've healed and you, you go into the fire, you get hit and you die. So yeah, with all that out of the way, I think I would I'll give it a 9.5. Just because it was just too fun, to be honest. Because even though it was crashing, I wouldn't count it that much. As I said, it didn't crash on me that much, and I had way much much fun with it. So that's why I wouldn't give it a nine, but I'll give it a nine point five. So yeah, for me, this is this is definitely game game of the year. None other game that have come out this year actually has given that impact. Like, like Wukong. And I've played a lot of games, you guys know. Play a lot of games this year. So, yeah. Yeah, I think definitely game of the year. Definitely game of the year for me. At least for me. I don't know about you guys, but what do you guys think? Is it game of the year worth material? Is it not? But yeah, I would love to know your thoughts down below as well. But yeah. Let me know what are your thoughts down below as well about Black Myth Wukong. Are you guys, have you guys played it? Have you guys not played it yet? Are you still waiting to grab a copy? Are you, are you indecisive? Ah, just get it. Just get it. If you're indecisive, just get it. It is, it is worth every single penny. And, and what are your favorite bosses as well? Just let me know down below. 
and yeah i would love to see that and to have a discussion with you guys down below if it, it is game of the year or not and with all that said i'm about to go play a second time for my second walkthrough game plus baby I, I can't wait i can't i can't wait and with all that said don't forget if you guys want to come join and just see my second play interview as well make sure you check the link down below and yes i'll see you guys